Hello everyone, welcome to Hopeful Turns. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the pattern for a crochet sandals. Now this is a very simple, quick and fun crochet summer project to do. Uh, and I'm going to upcycle one of my flip flops. So it's like an upcycling project if you are interested in one or you can buy a flip flop and make it uh, quite interesting and colorful. So here I'm just going to use my old flip flop. Uh, now, at least in my part of uh, the world, this is called slippers. So I might use slippers quite often, but I guess most of you call this as flip flops. Okay, whatever it is, you just need a flip flop. And if you have an old, if you have new, anything will work out. And for this here, uh, I have used some cotton yarns. Acrylic will work fine. I'm just using some DK weight cotton yarn. And with that, I'm going to use a size G or a 4 mm crochet hook. You would also require a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. Uh, to stitch this up so basically what we are going to do is uh, we will be first uh, crocheting over the strap and then making a small triangle and fixing it up now I have made this like a tie up one now if you do not want this you can totally avoid it the tie ups and you can just you don't have to do this you can just start from here and make it like a pretty simple sandals so that will also work fine it's a really simple quick project i hope you'll enjoy making it now if you're ready we can just get started so we'll start the pattern now the first part is to cover the strap of your uh, flip-flops so for that i'm going to take my yarn and i first will make a double knot it's just to keep it a little bit more secured so i'm just going to take the yarn here and just knot this down and we will weave this end later towards the end okay so here i have just attached my yarn to the strap here and we will be making one single crochet along this strap so you have to make single crochets um, you can make as many single crochet as you want it's just that it should be able to uh, just cover the full strap so i'll just uh, take my hook down the strap i'm going to pull my yarn through like this and then like we do the single crochet just like pull it up okay i'll just move it to the side again we'll do that so just take your hook down the strap pull your yarn up and then through this so this will complete your single crochet we'll do that again so uh, just take your hook down and then pull your yarn and then pull your yarn through the two loops that are there on your hook so you have to make sure that all the stitches are towards the uh, inside of your uh, strap so towards this side you have to make a single crochet so once you do that you can just uh, push it towards one side and then go on completing the single crochet to cover the strap now this might be a little bit tricky uh, to make the single crochet so try to loosen your hand um, but don't worry if it, it is not very neat we will be covering it uh, so even if you feel that it is not uh, very perfect it's completely okay towards the end we will be covering the single crochet that we have made so i'll just complete it making a single crochet to cover this end and when I reach here I'll show you how to go about to this side so here I have made one single crochet along this side here and I have reached the very center uh, now if you see here I have not stacked too many stitches I have put enough just enough stitch to cover this strap so when you're putting the single crochet don't stack too many stitches um, and as I said even if this is not very straight it's totally fine we will just straighten it up towards the end just make sure that this is a little bit neat uh, the only problem that you might find is that this gets crossed so if that is the case you can use your hook to straighten it up and just push everything together okay so here I have reached the center now we will not be doing anything we cannot actually crochet here because of this thing here so what we'll do is when you reach here you can make one chain stitch all right 
and we'll come directly to this side and start crocheting again so i'm going to take my hook from here and then pull the yarn and make you have two loops pull it through both so i'm going to make another single crochet and i'm just going to continue this now this is the only difficult part of this pattern to make the single crochet you might take a little bit time to get used to making such big single crochet but once you get the hang of it it's easy so here again i'm going to make single crochet till i reach the other end so just insert your hook through this side pull your yarn you have two loops yarn over and pull through both and just try to stack them up together and try to make it as neat as possible so i'll just make a single crochet all along this side also so here i have completed the other side of the strap also so this was my very last single crochet and i'm just going to cut my yarn here so i'll just take my yarn out and i'm going to cut my yarn here so that will complete the first part or the strap part right so this is how it is so this has been done now we'll make the triangle i know it's a little bit twisted we'll just take care of it towards the very end okay now for the triangle part i'm going to take my blue color yarn here and i'm going to start with a slip knot okay so start with a slip knot and make four chain stitch chain four one two three four all right now i'm going to slip stitch into the very first chain stitch to make it into a circle so into your very first chain make a slip stitch so insert your hook and then pull your yarn through these two loops to make a slip stitch like this all right so that makes a small circle and we'll be working in the center of the circle i will start round one and for that we are going to start with three chain stitch one two three and this three chain stitch here will be treated as a double crochet next we are going to put three double crochet into the center of the circle so make three double crochet so insert your hook into the center of the circle pull up a loop you have three loops yarn over pull to the first two yarn over pull to the next two so this is my first double crochet i'm going to put two more double crochet into the center of the circle this is the second one and one more three okay so if you see here i have put three double crochet and we also have three chain stitch so in total we now have four double crochet once this set is done make two chain stitch one two again go into the center of the circle and put four double crochet and i'm going to work on this yarn end so that i don't have to weave it in later so just go ahead and make four double crochet into the center of the circle so this is one two two three and i'll have to put one more four okay so here i've put four double crochet into the very center of the circle so that is done once this is done make two chain stitch one two again we are going to put one more set of four double crochet so i'm going to work four more double crochet into the center of the circle one two three and one more four okay so here again i have got four double crochet this is another set so we have uh, three sets of this four double crochet once the third set is done again make two chain stitch all right okay now we are going to finish off this round by slip stitching into the third chain of our chain three so this here is the third three chain stitch that we have started i'm going into the top chain or the third chain i'm going to slip stitch to join so that will complete a triangle i'm going to cut my yarn here so cut your yarn now if you're planning to make it with one color you can just continue with the same color anyway i'll just change it to the second color for next round i'm going to start with my yellow color but before that i'm just going to cut this tail end i have already weaved this in but if you find the need to weave it in more you can use a yarn needle and weave this in so i'll just take this out I'll take my next color yarn okay so if you want you can 
start working from where we have cut but I prefer to use some other stitch uh, just so that there are not too many yarns at one point so that is why I'm going to use I'm going to join this if you see we have four double crochet here into the very first double crochet you can take any set start with a one double crochet the first double crochet of any set I'm going to take my yarn here I will just bring it out like this and chain one now what we are going to do in this round is in the four double crochet of the previous round we are going to put one half double crochet each so this round we are going to put start with half double crochet so into the very first stitch where we had done the chain one I'm just taking this along with me I'm going to make a half double crochet this one second so I'll do that again so yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop you have three loops yarn over pull through all the three this is my first half double crochet come to your next stitch make a half double crochet this here is two another half double crochet the next stitch this here is my third half double crochet and one more half double crochet so this here is my fourth half double crochet so here I have put four half double crochet I have reached the chain two space or the first corner so whenever you reach a corner for this pattern we'll be doing double crochet chain two and double crochet all in the chain two space so we'll do that so we'll make a double crochet two chain stitch one two and then one more double crochets okay so that is how the corner will be done now we have if you see here we have four stitches here we will make one half double crochet on top of these four stitches now if you see here we have cut the yarn so there might be a confusion so if you see this is one two this is the third one and here where there is a gap I'm going to put my fourth half double crochet so here I'll start where there is a big gap there I put my first half double crochet one second half double crochet will go here so you might want to count ahead if you are cutting your yarn like this and if you have any confusion the second half double crochet goes there this is my third half double crochet and one more half double crochet here just take this out okay so here i have put again four half double crochet we have reached our next corner so when you reach your corner make double crochet two chain stitch and a double crochet so double crochet chain two and one more double crochet all in the same corner so the second corner is done we will repeat the pattern so one half double crochet in these four stitches and then the corner stitch so come directly into the first stitch make half double crochets so this is one two three four so here we have put four half double crochet we are done with the half double crochets here we have reached our next corner the last corner so here i'm going to put double crochet two chain stitch and another double crochet all in the chain two space so that completes this corner as well now in order to finish off this round find the first half double crochet here you have a chain one just ignore that find the first half double crochet and slip stitch to join okay so that completes round two I'm going to cut my yarn here and we will start with the last round okay so this is done so this is how the triangle is so I've already weaved this in I'll just cut my yarn ends now if as, as I said if you want you can use a yarn needle if you feel that it is not secure enough okay so that is done we will use our next color so we'll take the pink color so I'll join my pink color yarn here so I'll join in some other stitch so if you see here now if you see we have one two three four five six a total of six stitches in one side so we'll be working half double crochet in these six stitches okay so you can join it 
to the first double crochet so these four are half double crochet a half double crochet and this is a double crochet so in any of the double crochet stitch you can join your new color okay so here I have joined my pink color I'll make one chain stitch and I'm going to work six half double crochets this time so into the same stitch I'll start half double crochets so this is one here is my second half double crochet two three okay four five and one more six okay so here I have put six half double crochets I have reached my corner and here again in the corner you will make double crochet two chain stitch and a double crochet so double crochet chain two and a double crochet here so that is also done now we'll come to the next part so you have to find six stitches since we have cut here you might find it a bit difficult so one will go here so you can see one two three four fifth these five are completely marked and the sixth will go here so just in case you have a doubt where it is see how you're how you're going to place your six stitches and then you can work accordingly so this is my second half double crochet let's take my yarn along three here is my fourth one fifth one and one more six okay so here i have put six half double crochet we have reached the corner so into the corner stitch you make double crochet chain two and a double crochet and you can go ahead and repeat the pattern make six half double crochet and complete the corner stitch so i'll just complete that also i'll make six double crochet and i'll complete the corner so like this you can make your triangle as big as you want i'm just going to stop it at round three that is enough for my slippers so i'm making my corner double crochet chain two and double crochet into the very last corner once this is done i'm going to find the first half double crochet of this round and i'm going to slip stitch okay so that completes this and i'm going to cut my yarn now if you want you can use the same yarn to join uh, the thing or uh, you can cut your yarn and attach a new one but i'm going to take a long piece of yarn i'm going to cut a long yarn and with this i'm going to attach it to my slippers so cut a long piece of yarn i'm going to take this out okay so that is done now with a yarn needle we'll attach it so here i have attached my darning needle to the yarn and we'll be joining the triangle piece to the strand here now if you look at it like this um, in one side you have one two three four five six seven eight eight stitches in total and also you can count one corner here one corner here so in one side you have 10 stitches so what we'll do is we'll be counting 10 stitches from the very top to down to uh, to stitch this up but before that if you see here we are not at the very corner we have one more stitch to go so what i'll do is i'll try to make this yarn end come to the very corner so i'll go from behind like this so as to reach the corner because we want to start from the very corner so i'll just take it like this i think this should be fine okay so here we have reached the corner and now we can start stitching so you can count 10 stitches from the top it's not very even but it's okay one two three one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so this here is my 10 stitch i'll start joining from this one here okay like this now we'll be using both the loops to stitch this up so i'll go once more right in the very corner stitch 
and join and we'll be joining this all the way up to the very center okay come to your next stitch here so this here is my next stitch and here is my next stitch I'll take it you have two V's you just have to take your yarn through both the V's here is one stitch here is the next stitch both the front and back loop so go ahead and stitch this up till you reach the very center So here I have stitched this up and I have reached the center. Now in the center we have the corner here and remember we had put one chain stitch here. So I'm going to go there into the very center along with the corner and the chain one that we had put earlier. And again I'm going to go back down one stitch from here and one stitch from this side all the way down. So again you'll have 10 stitches to stitch this up. So I'll just complete that and then we can work on the last part so I'll just finish off this stitching this side as well so just take one loop from here one stitch from here and one stitch from here both the front and back loops of both the sides so this is how it is so here I have worked my way down and at the corner also I had made a stitch and in order to finish this I'm just going to make a small knot and then cut my yarn and hide in the tail okay so I've just made the knot here I'll pull it out and you can just weave in the end and uh, we'll start working on the strap so I'm just going to weave it towards this side and then cut the excess now we'll work on the very last part that is uh, the ties now as I said earlier uh, the ties is an optional thing if you do not want to make the ties you can definitely go ahead and make the very last round with maybe the same color or a different color I'm just using a different color I'm just going to make a single crochet along this so I'm, I'll start my single crochet right from this end go all the way up here then a single crochet around this and a single crochet till here so that is the plan now the last part uh, and that will kind of neaten and tidy up the uh, not so beautiful looking stitches here so what I since I'm doing a, a tie so I have made 80 chain stitch so I have already made a slip knot and I have put 80 chain stitch now if you long if you want a longer ties uh, just increase the chain stitches if you want a short one so depending on how you plan to attach uh, how you plan to tie you might have to uh, make some more or less than 80 chain stitch I'm starting with 80 and I'm going to attach it to the very first stitch now as I said if you do not want the tie ups you start with the very first chain stitch. you start directly making a single crochet so I have already made 80 chain stitch here what I'll do is this end I'm going to take it out from here so that I don't have to weave it in later if you want you definitely go ahead and use a yarn needle and glue to finally glue that down I'm just going to weave it on top of it okay so here I've got my 80 chain stitch I'm going to attach it to the very first stitch here with a single crochet okay and I'm going to work my way down I'm going to make one single crochet in each of these stitches that's it and I'm going to take this yarn end with me as I'm working my single crochets so just go ahead and make 80 oh sorry not 80 just go ahead and make single crochet around this all right so once you finish making single crochet here just skip just go directly to this end and again make single crochet around the stitches and then around the stitches so I'll just complete making that single crochet also so here I have worked my single crochet around the strap as well as the triangle and if you see it has tidied up 
to a very large extent now all the stitches are even and it looks quite better um, so yeah that was it now if you want as I said if you are not looking for a strap here once you reach the very last thing you can just cut this off but I'm going to make the tie so I'm going to once I reach the very last stitch I'm going to here again put 80 chain stitch so this was my very last single crochet and directly after this I'm going to put 80 chain stitch or as many as you need and then you can just cut your yarn that's it so I'll make my 80 chain stitch and this would be ready so I'll just finish this and I'll show you the final thing all right so this is how it is so here I have completed my 80 chain stitch and this tie up is also ready. Uh, now you can just trim off the excess yarn and if you want you can attach a bead so that is totally up to you or you can just make a small knot so that everything stays in place. So I'm just going to make a small knot here. So this should be enough and one more knot here okay so yeah our tie up is ready i think i can put one more knot let's make it a little bit bigger oh it's up to you if you want you can add the knot i thought i'll just make a bigger knot with this so that okay so there this is done so yeah that was the tutorial on how to do the slippers i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed making it um, if you're making it please do tag me i would love to see your pictures it's a really simple easy quick fun summer project to do and as i said you don't even have to have this ties uh, I, I found that when you put the ties it can just get a little bit you can feel that uh, if you put it very tightly you can feel the push from the tie so if you're not comfortable with that just ignore this you can make this one it's really beautiful it's quick way to upcycle your old slippers or flip flops so yeah that was it for today's tutorial if you liked it uh, please do press on the like button uh, it would help my channel to grow uh, so if you are planning on supporting me please do subscribe also if you consider worth subscribing so that's it for today's tutorial. If you're looking for some other summer projects, I do have a few, some um, summer hats, some market bags, all of that is there on the channel. I have made a playlist and I'll put the playlist link in the description box. If you're interested, do check that out. So that was it for today's tutorial. See you in another video. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for